Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Um, today I've been trying to figure out how to do this kind of satin material look and I think I've figured it out. So what you're going to need is some metallic clay. Uh, this is actually a bit of bronze and gold that I had left over from another pack and I've actually mixed them together. So there's probably just under two ounces here um maybe slightly less um two-thirds of a pack and what we're going to do is we're going to put some aside that will fit our cutter like so and then with this one uh we're going to make a sausage So, I'll just put this to one side. So we're just going to roll this up into a sausage. And what I'm trying to do is, when you, when you condition your clay, oh, this is on um, setting three on my atlas, by the way. When you... Um, condition your clay it it's as if you're doing a mica shift isn't it and all your mica particles are all nicely lined up well we don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is make a veneer um, by cutting into this little log uh, and it'll give us some elongated ovals and I think um, it'll look a bit satiny um, but it certainly looks interesting. So I'm just cutting some slices just so that it'll pass easy through on zero or one on the pasta machine because we're going to take it gradually thinner and thinner. Try and get to a five. Um, so they've got a really thin sheet of it. Uh, so I'm just going to line these up. I think three will be wide enough for my cutter once it's gone through the machine. And it doesn't matter if you squish them up a bit. Um, all I want us to do is not have a flat mica surface. So I'll just give them a squish and give them a roll. so that there's no gaps. There we go. Can you see the, the shift? Looks really nice, doesn't it? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through my machine and get a nice long piece on number five. Uh, I'm just going to take it down, 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 down. Uh, obviously, we've got to make sure it's wide enough for our cutter because we're going to be rippling it. Right guys, I'll do that. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I managed to get mine down to a six and it just started rippling a little bit. So I'm just going to take a piece of uh, copy paper and just give it a burnish just to knock them ripples back out. And I'll let you into a little secret. I've actually done this twice now. So don't worry if you can't get it to work the first time. Um, mine got all eaten up by my pasta machine, so I've actually redone it and started filming again. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut some of these tatty ends off. And the bit that's not wide enough for my um, cookie cutter. And I'll just put them bits to one side. And I'll um, put them back through later and that's what we'll make the bail out of. Right, so now I'll just clean my blade. We're going to pick this up. Very gently. Oh, I caught the end. I'll just get these scraps up.
oh get off and we'll get our piece that we um put aside as our base for our cutter and what we're going to do is i'm just going to turn that little bit off there because i don't want it to get in the way in fact bear with me one sec while i just make that a nice straight edge again I'm still all fingers and thumbs today. I don't know what's up with me at all. My wrists are a bit sore. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck that first end under like so. And then we're going to start to ripple like it's a piece of fabric. And just gently corks it into position like so get in and again I'm just gonna tuck that little end oops I'm just gonna tuck this end under then there's no raw edge on this last ripple now just make sure, yeah, that will be fine. So I'm just going to readjust these a little bit to get them to move over. Come on. I don't want to. There we go. So now it looks like folds of material just pop that one up and then when we put our cutter on which I'll just wipe I go straight down I'll give it a little twist then I get rid of that funny knobbly bit take this away we've got this lovely cushioned design I just pick it up and you can see a bit better can you see with the mica it looks fab um, so I suppose it's a, a different take on a um, whatever those beads are called hollow bead different take on a hollow bead and I'm just gently just going to rub my thumb just to get rid of that harsh edge from the cutter just to round it off a little bit and we can sand any fuzzies and things when it comes out the oven but I just want to make sure that edge is nice and smooth you could always put a you know a ring round a sausage round um, but I just prefer having that nice smooth edge. I just, oh, I nearly dropped it then. Just soften that edge. And there we go. I'm going to pop this onto a piece of paper. Um, make sure I've got no crumbs pop this onto a piece of paper and bake it for about 20 minutes so that it's firmed up and then I can um, get a, we can put a bale on the back um, and I'll be back in a sec bye hi guys just out the oven uh, I do need to tidy these edges up a little bit later but I'll worry about that then I think um, so just a few little bits that a soft file will take off so I'm not worried but um, it's looking pretty cool uh, so we'll put the bale on and uh, finish off the cooking I'm just gonna do my usual cut myself a rectangle
smooth the edges. Take a little slither off. dude and wrap it round just soften that end off and it's not sharp and then flatten these bits and pop a bit of bacon bond on. Oh, does help when you open the lid really doesn't it? Try not to square it too much out. What's going on? There we go. Just make sure my fingers haven't got a gunk on them. And I think I'll, oh, I'll have that as the top as the pendant, so I'm going to put my, let me just check it straight. Oh, come out. Oh, it's not having it today. back on. Again make sure it's straight. I just grab my bulky tool or whatever I've done with it. I am going to just, just go and put a bit of kitchen paper and lay it on that then it, I don't get a, a flat spot or a shiny spot while the rest of it's cooking. Right guys I'll pop this back in and we'll um, tidy up the edges and then um, string it up. See you in a minute. Hey guys, so that's cooking um, and I had some bits left over. I thought I'd have a go at a square one and just see how that works. So I've just rolled it out on three, cut myself a shape out like I did with my other one and I'm just gonna make a little veneer type thing with these bits. through the pasta machine and get it as thin as I can. Right guys, I managed to get it on a six again. I'll just give it a little burnish. Then it's nice and smooth. And again, I'll just cut this end off. for the bail.
and get them square and I'm going to do it across. Um, I'm just going to take that bit off again where it's torn. Sorry about that, my husband's decided to empty the bins. Right, I'm just going to tuck that raw edge under and then start to ripple across. Oh, that's not going to work. I'll have to turn it around. My clay's not wide enough. is going to hang off so it'll be fine and I'll just I'm just going to give them a little little ripple this way see if we can get a different effect going Right, let's see what this looks like when it's cut out. I think I'll just make it oblong because just just a bit there that I missed. So I'll just cut into this one like that and make it an oblong. That was quite cute. no funny bits on the sides just smooth that down a little bit there's a little bit can you see there's a, just a little bit there in that fold I don't think at the end of the day it'll matter but I might just fill that in with a little bit of clay when it's uh, when it's baked I'll just make sure it's square I'll just nip that little bit off at that edge. There. I'll pop that one in as well to bake. Alright guys. See you in a minute. Hi guys, um, throw out the oven. Look lovely, don't they? Really chuffed with how they've turned out. I am just going to go around the edges with my file. There's just a few little chatty bits. Just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. don't want anything sharp against your skin. Again, 
and just using the nail files because I find them a bit easier. from the cutter, I think. That's better. I'll just give it a quick buff. denim scrap here. There we go. Super shiny. To be fair, I don't think, because I was careful with this, apart there's just a little bit there where the fold is, but I'm not concerned about that. It doesn't look horrible. Um, so I'll just give this a little buff, just on them ridges to make them shine. And give it a little dust with me. Denim cloth. There we go. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to string them up with because I haven't got any gold. Maybe black would look nice. Let's have a look. Let's see what this looks like. It might be better with a, a different colour of... Uh, necklace maybe with it but I'm really pleased with the sheen on it and uh, with the mica shifts stops it looking flat I'll just pop it onto this little black one uh, little brown square one so you can see and there's a brown one uh, the little one alright guys hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching I know.